Hey guys, Aquahex Snipes here, and um, today I'm gonna be showing you um how to make your own profile picture for YouTube. And um, uh, as I said in my previous videos, this is like a series on how to start your YouTube channel. So if you wanna go see how I made uh, my channel art and uh, this right here, if you want a channel art like that, uh, go check uh, my channel out and uh, you'll find it. But uh, let's get to the video. Okay, so in order to, um, okay, first you're gonna wanna go to Google. You wanna, you wanna go to Google Images and uh, find a picture you like. So I'm just gonna search up, um, uh, yeah. oh, creatures, okay. You don't, you guys don't have to search this up, I'm just gonna search it up. Just for like the heck of it. Okay. So now once you uh, entered whatever you want, you want to find one that you like. So I'm gonna just see here. Uh, let's see. See if I can find one I like. I don't want this to take too long. Okay, we're gonna pick this one. I, I kind of I like this. One. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna click that. You want to save it to your computer, to your pictures, or wherever you want to save it. Just save it. Okay, now once you've done that, you can exit that out if you want. Now you have to download this Paint.net. Um. Uh, trust me, guys. This won't harm your computer at all. Um. You can download it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys don't want to, uh, you know, switch it up and stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, you just go to this website, paint.net, and you download it. And once you have that downloaded, you can open it up because you see, I already have it. Um, and once you do that, you want to go to File, Open, and you want to go to where you put your um you want to go to wherever you put your uh, picture that you just saved so we're gonna go ahead and try to find it like here it is just let it okay as you see it's here uh now the first thing you want to do is go to image click resize and you're gonna want to put the pixels 800 I mean, yeah 800 and the height whatever it says on the bottom it doesn't really matter all you have to do is uh, enter 800 on the top and it should give you 600 or 800 doesn't really matter and it will resize and it will look like this okay so now what you want to do is you want to go to right here the tools bar you want to click text and then you can write uh, I'm just gonna write sky night. You can enlarge it if you want. Let's see, okay. You can change the color also. We're gonna make it a visible cover. Okay, we're just gonna make it that go. You can adjust it, and now once you have that, you can uh, go to Google again and search up the font. And I'll leave a link in the description for this as well if you guys don't want to search it up. But just search this up, it should be the first one to font. Click that, and it'll open up this. Now what this does is it gives you a whole bunch of fonts. Um, as you see, there's more. All you have to do is all the new fonts. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna click this one, the black fox one. Uh, once you find the one you like, you can click download, and then it will should this should pop up, and you should put save. And then once it's done, you click open folder. And you can, I'm just going to move it to my pictures for this sake. And now once you have that, you want to open up your pictures. 
go to pictures uh find where you or wherever you moved your file just find it I did move it here right yeah. hold on guys sorry pretty sure I moved it here yeah right here okay so what you want to do is you want to click on that file you want to click this one it should take true type font file just click that and you should uh, do this and uh, then what you want to do is you want to click install again this won't harm your computer at all so you don't have to worry about that and uh, once you you know when it's installed when it's like that so you can exit that out you will go to paint and go to your fonts right here and ours was black fox so we click that and you see it changes the font okay this is too big now and uh this goes with any um any what's it called well my bad hold on this goes for uh any this goes for any uh program you have so like for paint uh anything really like documents and stuff like that which is pretty cool I, at least i think and then <clears throat> it should look like that and then now what you want to do is you can if you want you can also like paste pictures on it so like for example i'm gonna go to my pictures <clears throat> all the way down and as you see i have this youtube picture just gonna click on that it doesn't have to be this picture and how uh, you can copy go back to paint go to edit and paste and you see you can actually put it in there if you wanted <clears throat> but yeah oh, okay. okay but yeah this is how it looks and once you're done uh, with that you can click save as name your file I'll just name it profile profile and it should do this and this is okay this is like this is not gonna be like how small the picture is actually gonna be like that but you just wanna click okay should save now once you're done you can go here uh, to your YouTube channel and if you don't know how to go to your channel all you have to do is click this and go to my channel and once you're in your channel you can click here on that little icon thing and on Google Plus okay so once you're on your Google Plus if you go to your pic it should open this uh, just wait for it to load and it should it, it should say drag a photo here or select from the computer you can do if it's on your desktop you can drag it on but I'm just gonna select um, let's find it no not that one here right here profile and then it should upload when it's uploading when it's ready it should fit you can adjust the size sometimes you kinda have to make it fit for this picture it won't always do this it's cause the size of the picture I chose but it won't always do this so don't worry about it uh, set as profile photo just have to wait for it to and then cancel and then there and then once you go back to your youtube channel when you refresh it it should be there okay and um that's it for this tutorial guys um i'll see you guys in the next one